couple of hours now this morning, the next jobs report comes out. Yeah, that's a big deal. Uh, we always like to see that and mortgage rates sink to their lowest level since 2017. So it's now a good time to buy a house. Jane King is yeah. at the, the NASDAQ uh, for our morning business report. Hey, Jane. Hi, Ashley Nicole. Good morning. Yes, mortgage rates keep falling and they're now at a two year low. So the 30 year rate, according to Freddie Mac, is 3.82 percent. Now, concerns over trade and global growth have driven rates below 4 percent. Meanwhile, U.S. and Mexican, and Mexican officials continued to negotiate into the night last night in hopes of reaching a deal to avoid tariffs that are set to go into effect Monday. But the window is quickly closing. If there is no agreement, 5 percent tariffs will go into effect Monday on Mexican imports to the U.S. Well, the U.S. economy expected to have created 185,000 jobs in May, so that would be a solid but unremarkable number. If that number comes in lower than expected, that could be a sign of cracks in the labor market. It could pump the Fed to cut interest rates. The unemployment rate expected to have held at a 49-year low at 3.6 percent, so we'll get again those numbers in about two hours, a little over that. Stocks posted a third straight day of gains. It up 181 points on reports of tariffs on Mexico may be delayed. No confirmation of that, but there were reports that would happen. As I mentioned, they're set to go into effect Monday. The market's looking about 80 points higher, but that jobs number could change that. Live from the NASDAQ, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Well, thanks, Jane. Of course, it's always you Thank know you. good to see the good reports with the mortgages, people trying to get out there. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait for that jobs yeah. report to come out. All Let's right. wait. We'll be here soon. <laughs> That's right, Jane. We'll see you on Monday. Thank but you.